What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic one time for the one time uh, late evening grind. Um, came through the news feed. Heard a lot of people talking about it already. Um, Terrence Crawford is going to be taking on Julius Indigo in Omaha, Nebraska. And it sounds like it's going to be for undisputed lineal, um, undisputed lineal junior welterweight on the line. Going down August 12th in Omaha, and it's probably one of the weakest, um, you know, undisputed matchups I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm just to keep it real. I'm not. I'm glad that I want to see Terrence Crawford become undisputed at one way class. I'm all for making history and doing big accomplishments in the sport of boxing. And uh, if he's going to stay at 140, do it. You know, if he ain't planning to move up right now, do it. You know, get all the belts, do your thing. But as far as the fight. This shit is an 80-20 fight at best. 80% in Crawford favor, 20% in Indigo favor. I'm not sure if HBO going to be showing this fight. I doubt it. I doubt it. It don't move no numbers. It don't move no pendulums at, as well. It's not even the best 140-pound fight of the summer. Um, it's not. You know, people would probably try to put emphasis on there and try to be biased because they love Terrence Crawford. But Mikey Garcia, Adrian Broner, when it comes to promo, press, and marketing, and profile of the fight, and where the fight is at in Brooklyn Barclays Center, heads, shoulders, knees, toes, and uh, calluses on your feet above this fight. You know, this fight is going to probably be streamed on a new top-ranked platform, Box nation this shit they trying to drop. And, you know, I, I, I want Crawford to be undisputed. Do your thing, but it's not a fight where I'm going to stop my day to check out Terrence Crawford fight Julius Indigo. I'm just not going to, you know, I'm just not going to, you know, let this fight dictate how I move on my day. If I have a family uh, picnic plan or a family vacation plan or I'm going to do something August 12th of that weekend, I'm not going to stop my day to watch this fight, you know, at all. And, you know, it's it's not a bad matchup. It's just that I, I don't see Julius Indigo competing with Crawford. This is just another... Uh, mid-level guy that Crawford is going to fight. It's not going to tell me anything different about Crawford I didn't already know. It's not going to make me rate Crawford any higher than he is. You know, he's just him making history. Him, you know, being another step to prestigious history. And good for him. He's making the right decision for his move. But like I told you guys before, his story will not be told until he moves to welterweight. That's when the true test don't come. Anything... 140 and below, unless it's Mikey Garcia, per perhaps, even if, that's a stretch to say that. It's a, it's pretty much, it's, it's, a, it's just a waste of a barometer. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't need to, you know, I don't need to uh, check his barometer about how good he is. I know Terrence Crawford, you know, but it's the absolute truth. It's nothing that nobody can do at 140 that's going to tell me anything different about the kid. Nothing. I know he's true, but at 147... Then he steps into that, that dojo where now he's getting into those 50-50 fights. And 50-50 fights and pick em fights tell you more about a guy than, you know, this fight can never tell you about him. It's no disrespect. It's no disrespect to uh, no disrespect to Terrence Crawford or Julius Indigo. You know, I'm glad that they got that Lippic situation to the side. He can wait his turn with his 15 fucking pro fights. He can wait. And if Julius Indolo wins or if Terrence Crawford wins, he chooses to compete at 140, then Lippin can get his shot. But let let Terrence Crawford make history because this is this fight is as, as sure as, as LeBron shooting the layup open court with nobody in the gym, nobody here on the floor. You know what I'm saying? This is a short thing. It's, it's, it's not a pick em fight. And, you know, people will be mad at me for kind of um, nitpicking this fight. I'm not overly excited. It's just a simple fact that I like competitive, you know, sports. You know, I like shit that's competitive as far as boxing for sure. You know, with LeBron getting his ass whooped by Golden State, I enjoy that. I enjoy that ass kicking all day, every day. I watch that all day, every day. But as far as this, in the sport of boxing, I'd rather see um, competitive fights. You know, I'd rather see Crawford fight something that's more competitive. But I understand that it's for the undisputed, the lineal, he the lineal, undisputed. I feel him, and I'm all for it. But as far as me going to tell you to have your casual fans to watch this fight and had them and pull them into the sport of boxing to make them hardcores or more um, pay close attention to the sport, absolutely not. It's not that fight. Um, I'm not impressed with the matchmaking here. I understand it. But like I said, his story will not be told until he steps into the welterweight dojo. And, and I'm sticking to it. I'm not overexcited about this fight, but I understand it, and we gone.